Hello everybody, my name is Provis and welcome back to City Skyline, Sunset Harbor in the city of New Gruntings. We are starting to have a little bit of issues down over here with some of my industries shutting down because they simply are not able to get all the workers they need. And a big part of that is because, well, I mean, look at this for example. We have a couple uneducated workers, but we don't actually need any jobs for uneducated workers. And then we have no highly educated or well-educated workers which are able to run this area. So I think at least temporarily I made a mistake in making this area into... Why does this look all messed up? What is this? What is this text? You seeing this? Weird. Anyway, um, I think I made a mistake turning on the Industry 4.0 this early on. I know it's having some trouble with, like getting people down here, I'm aware, but... Yeah, let's go ahead and turn that off so we use mostly uneducated workers, since about 42% of my workers are uneducated anyway. And as we educate, we will come back to that. And also, by the way, before I forget, let's just go ahead and toss in a fish market. I think we'll set it up in this uh, little um, self-sustaining area over here. I think they'll appreciate it. Yes, yes, I know. It causes noise and stuff, but it should increase the health of the region, so I think I think they'll learn to live with it. We'll place it down over... I guess we'll just place it down over here. Sure, why not? There we go. We have a fish market. Yay! Now we can sell fresh fish and other organic local produce. These guys will be super duper healthy. Congratulations. Hope you're happy with that. Okay, so the big thing that I want to work on today is setting up a campus. Uh, let's see. I think that's under parks, technically. Uh, let's see. Nature reserve, props, park maintenance, content creator packs. No, it's here somewhere. Give me a second. Ah, of course. It's under education. Right. That, that would make some sense, wouldn't it? Okay. So we can have either a trade school campus area or a liberal arts college campus area and eventually move up to a university campus area, which, of course, we are not at that point yet. So it's going to be a while before I can build, like, the big honking university that I would want. But at the very minimum, there's no reason I don't think we can at least set up a trade school or something along those lines, right? And that should be useful for the Steinworks. Uh, and then eventually maybe we want to use the liberal arts so we can have more offices and such on this side of the river. That kind of thing could work. And then eventually set up a nice really big area for a huge honkin' university. That's what I think we should do. So let's start off with the trade school since it looks like that is what we need the most. And I'm thinking... I hate to use up all this fertile land and stuff, but I think we may end up going ahead and placing it down over here. So what do we need for this? I've never built one of these before. We have a few different buildings. Uh, groundskeeping and so on don't need that. Education buildings, net structures, faculties. Well, we have access to this, but I don't see anything unlocked. Maybe you have to place down a road first, like a little trade school path. It's a paved pedestrian path that allows pedestrians to walk fast and easy where cars cannot go. That does not seem too helpful, but let's go ahead and place it. Did it unlock anything? No. Well, that's not very nice. What am I supposed to do with this if you're not actually going to give me access to all the buildings? Oi! Maybe it's a district thing. Paint campus area. Ah, yes. Okay, so this is the sort of thing that I would want. Cool, so we're going to go ahead and place it down over this direction. And I'll leave a little bit of space between this and the railroad because I'm going to place down some trees and kind of try to reduce the noise pollution a little bit. But let's just go for this as a starting area. I have no idea if this is too big or not. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, now we go back to education and... Okay, so if I got a bit more money, we do have access to some buildings, including the Trade School Administration Building. Defines the campus area type to a trade school and allows reputation progression of the campus area and works as a headquarters. Okay, got it. So, we're going to go ahead and place down some roads, kind of connect this area up. Okay, and now that we have some cash, we're going to place down this Trade School Administration Area right over here. Nice, big, grand building. Look at that. It actually looks pretty darn good. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, so now that we have this, we have the Garnet State College. I'm not sure if I like that name. Hang on. We are instead going to name this the Lucidus uh, Technical School. If I could spell correctly, that would help. There we go. The Lucidus Technical School is open for business. Okay, now that we have this, what else can I place down? Well, quite a few things. It looks like we have the Trade School Dormitory, which makes sense. We need to give some residential space. Also a study hall, also a book club, okay. Smaller buildings, we have the groundskeeping, probably will need some of that. So there are some pedestrian pathing. Education buildings. Again, dormitories and stuff. I think it kind of just puts all these together in terms of large buildings. So where do we have actual education facilities, though? I guess the book club. That's not what I want. Police academy? Really? We can train local police officers. Okay. 
School of Tourism and Travel, and then eventually a School of Engineering. Engineering? You think that engineering counts as a trade school thing? I mean, maybe for, like, civil engineer, like, technicians and stuff. Which it looks like it does reduce city water consumption and sewage outlet and stuff. Okay, yes, I get that, but I will have you know that engineering is a very professional and prestigious degree. I worked very hard to get my BS of science and engineering, alright? Don't, don't, don't belittle me. There we go. Look, I added a little park to the Lucidus Technical School, and I built this one from scratch. Doesn't it look nice? I don't know, I figure outside of the administrative building, you gotta have something that looks kind of good here. Alrighty, so let's go back to our education facilities. We need to get ourselves our first round of dormitories, I think, and one up over here should be fine. Out of curiosity, these can indeed connect just to the walking paths. Good to know. Um, I think to start us off, I want to have at least a couple of dormitories that are easily accessible via road. But going forward, a lot of our buildings should probably be accessible primarily from walking paths. So we'll have a couple of dormitories over here. Oops, we need to get a bit more water. That's fine. We can do that. Uh, we need to have a couple of dormitories accessible here just so we have some student population. We don't have any classes yet, but you don't need none of that nonsense. We just need to make sure you move in here and pay your tuition. So we'll get some of that going. The more buildings we have, the more attractive this school apparently is going to be. At the moment, it is an unrecognized school. But we'll get you there, Lucidus. We'll get you there. Tuition fees. Only 160 bucks, but that's only because we have 36 students. It's getting better. The more campus attractiveness we have, the nicer this is going to be. Out of curiosity, does this already work with things like varsity sports, though? I think it might. Aquatic center, basketball arena, track and field uh, stadium? Cool. I have no need for these right now, and I don't usually think of trade school people as needing these either, but that is a thing that we can do. Ooh, there we go. Now we can place down a police academy. I like this. We're going to have a nice big one right there with all these extra little roads and stuff to make it look interesting. It's probably extremely inefficient. As always, the grid pattern is king, but come on. You got to admit, that's going to look a lot better. We actually have a bit more campus attractiveness going on here, too. If I were to toss in, let's say, another dormitory or something like that, um, that would probably be enough to carry me to victory, I think. These guys don't quite snap to the same grid patterns as the others. They're intended to be a lot more free-floaty, I think. But anyway, okay, so there's that. That gets, yep, our campus attractiveness up to 200 out of 200. So if we can just get enough students together, I think we'll be fine. Now, what are academic works? Chance of academic works is 30%. If we spend some money, we can hire more academic staff, which greatly increases the chance of getting one of those. Okay. We can also give money towards some grants. Artisanry, hospitality, IT, and engineering. Really? Okay. Huh. Well, I think just having five staff for now is fine. We're not going to cost extra money, but I'm hoping we do get some academic works. There's also some special policies, I guess. So we have student health care, which is going to increase the cost per student. Then we have a free lunch. Then we have visiting scholars, which increases the faculty bonus, but increases the upkeep. And then, of course, some varsity sports and stuff. Fascinating. Huh, okay, I kind of like this. There we go, the fill pits have officially reached level 2, which means now we have access to the ore industry workers barracks, the steel plant, the glass manufacturing plant, the ore storage, and so on. Also some underground mines. Okay, so uh, let's take a quick look at some of those and see what we get. Uh, glass manufacturing is something that I kind of want, so I think we should go ahead and place one of these. Um, where to place it, though? Uh, do 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 Still want to keep it relatively close to some storage. I guess we could place it down over here. Next to the prison? Sure, I mean, yeah, why not? <laughs> the prisoners can go and work and make glass for all of us, I suppose. There's no way that could possibly go wrong. Alright, cool. So, this area info, then, we should be now taking ores and producing both metals and glass. So, we'll see what the output ends up looking like over time. But now we can do both. May actually need to get a little bit more extraction. I'm not sure. We'll come back to some of that. But if we can now produce both glass and also the um, special crops via our bakery, no, just regular crops, sorry, regular crops, we should be able to start making some lemonade. So let's take a quick look over here. Lemonade factory. It's huge! Oh my gosh! Who knew that the lemonade factory was going to take up so much freaking space? That's impressive, actually. 
And we are now a grand city, population of 15,000. Solar power plants, baseball parks, okay. Waste transfer, waste processing, intercity bus terminal, and a bus metro hub. Um, not a whole lot more that I think we will be able to unlock from here on out. It's just kind of going to be a matter of continually expanding and taking advantage of all this stuff. Looks like the Steinworks, by the way, does have most of its workers figured out now. At least enough that they are able to be profitable, so not too bad all in all. So at least we solved that issue, I think. The uh, technical school is coming along pretty nicely here, but until we get some academic works, I don't think anything's going to happen there. We're spending a lot more money than we are gaining, unfortunately. So, yeah, this is not a profitable school, but eventually I'm hoping it will be, and even if it's not profitable, if it produces some highly educated workers that I can use, maybe that ends up being worthwhile. I think I would like to go ahead and start taking advantage of some of the oil on the map as well with yet another little industry, and we're actually already kind of perfectly situated to take advantage of this. So, what I'm going to do then is create another industrial zone, specifically along here. Like this for now, I guess. Okay. It's a little close to some of the residential areas. We may have to pull some of these guys back. I'm not too sure, but even so, we'll go with it. Alright, who else we got here? Um, do -do 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 -do. Looking for a patron. We have... The Telsior Oil Fields. There we go. All right, the Telsior oil fields are ready to go. So let's go to our industry and set up some oil like so. I want an oil industry main building, probably off in the distance, kind of out of the way of the oil itself. So right over here should be fine. And now we have access to a small oil pump, an oil sludge pyrolysis plant, and a small crude oil tank farm. Whatever the heck all of that is. I'm not very intimately familiar with the uh, the process of turning oil into petroleum. But I definitely know that you're supposed to pump a bunch of stuff out of here. It does have to be placed along roadsides, unfortunately. So, let's go back to the map modes here. So I think what we want to do is create a road that basically goes along here. Can I have this map mode oh, at the same time? Yes, I can. Okay. So we want to have a splined road that goes basically... Wherever the oil is the heaviest. And I think it's going to be kind of like this. And then maybe another road that comes out kind of like this. Okay, so we'll try that. Then we'll place down some of these oil pumps. They're very small, fortunately. And do they gather out of this entire area? Like if I place one over here, for example, will it gather all the oil from over here? Maybe. Don't really know. Go ahead and place another one there, I guess. So we have a couple of pumps that are now going to be working. Do need to make sure that everyone has some power, of course. Hang on. Let's go ahead and do something like this. And I guess you're going to need some power as well. Picky, picky. Fine, there you go. Okay, so now we should be able to get some of that going. You'll also want some water. I don't know if the uh, oil pumps require water, but we'll go ahead and place that anyway. Okay, so now we have some of those going. So we should be producing... Why does it keep showing uh, forestry by default, even if you have oil selected? So now we should be producing the oil for your extraction. Then we want to turn it into either plastics at a naphtha cracker plant or a petrochemical plant, or we want to turn it into petroleum in an oil sludge pyrolysis plant or a waste oil refining plant. So I guess we need to get an oil sludge pyrolysis plant. So let's go and take a look at our ref processing buildings. This one is not very big. I'm kind of surprised. It seems like oil is a fairly compact industry, all things considered. Um, maybe we should go ahead and place a storage area first. This is a lot bigger. Okay, much, much bigger. Um, let's place one down over... kind of don't like the idea of placing it where it's taking up oil space. What if I place one over here? Right. And then we get a quick little road... That splines up a this way and then over this way. Perfect. Okay, so we do something like this so they can quickly transfer things around, though it has messed with the uh, the ground a little bit. This looks silly, but that's fine. That's fine. Uh, then we want to get one of those sludge pyrolysis plants we'll place close to the storage. How about right over here? Okay. So, once we start producing some of that oil, it'll get dropped off over here. Then we can quickly just drop it off over at the oil sludge pyrolysis plant. And... Actually, something I'm going to do to kind of speed this up and make this a little bit more efficient. Uh, we are going to make these into one-way roads. Like this. Just so our trucks... Whoops. Put these around like so. 
This is all working, right? Yes, okay. Just so our trucks are going to drop things off over here, and they're not going to have to go all the way around or, like, block traffic trying to get across. And actually, I think the placement of this is incorrect, if that's the case. We want to have the, um, the pyrolysis plant, or whatever it's called, placed downstream of the storage facility. So right here, for example, should be fine. So trucks come down here, pick this up, drive up this way, drop it off here, then take it down over here. Perfect. Okay, now we should be able to start producing some petroleum. You can see, by the way, that our education ratio is starting to improve a little bit. Still a lot of uneducated residents. Uh, that means we need more elementary schools. Um, educated means they need a high school to get to well-educated, which means they can go to university. Once they have graduated from university, they are considered to be highly educated workers. So I still need more elementary schools. And this is one of the things that I find so unfortunate and annoying about elementary schools, is they have extremely low ranges. Maybe if we go to our budget... Uh, maybe we can increase that a little bit. So let's see. Budgets for schools. This is going to cost me a fair bit. Um, I don't really worry about the education of campus areas. What is this top one here? Wait, what is the difference? What do these mean? Oh, daytime versus nighttime. I don't think that changing the day nighttime is going to matter, but if we change the budget of our elementary schools and whatnot here, yeah, it's going to cost me a lot more money, but I'm hoping this is going to greatly increase the range of effectiveness, so let's see. I don't see a massive difference, if I'm being totally honest, but still, I think I'll make do with what we've got. I suppose one thing I could do if I really want to start improving the situation of traffic in the city is start moving toward an underground metro. I do like these a lot uh, because it does mean we don't have to worry quite as much about... Um, this is underground, right? Yeah, it is. We don't have to worry quite as much about um, placing down the right kinds of roads to facilitate, let's say, trams or monorails, etc. So maybe placing down like a metro station right along here, which I know is a bit noisy, so we may want to change up some of the uh, zoning in this area. But this allows me to go ahead and start placing some of those metro stations. So, for example, we place down one over here by the park, down like that, and then another one over, mm, space occupied, how about one down over here, and then one over here, and another like so, you get the idea, slope too steep, slope too steep, okay, still, having a good few, a few centrally located metro stations, that people can use to get around the city underground could be very, very useful to me. Okay, so we sort of have a base set of lines here, which look a little awkward. I know we may have to add a lot more stops in the future, but this should be enough to get us going. So we're going to create a new line, and we're going to try to add some stops. Why is it not adding stops? Wait, why aren't you doing what I tell you to do? I want to create a new line. Okay, let's try that again. So we're going to create a line that goes all the way out to the fields that way. Then we're going to create a line that goes all the way out to, let's say, here and then here. Nope, wait, that didn't work. Yeah? So it's a little awkward, and it turns out I did not need, like, all of this. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of it and save myself a little bit of cash. No, I don't even get refunds. Ah, oh, that sucks. Once you spend money on a Metro, it's gone for good. Yeah, you get a little bit of a refund, I guess, on some of these, just not all of them. Either way, though. Okay, so yeah, that's a little awkward. I keep forgetting what you want to do with Metro. In, unlike buses where you want to have loops with a Metro station, you want to have one or two central hubs, and then have everything kind of spider off in simple straight lines. Well, maybe not straight lines, but you get the point. So the lines just go back and forth in the same direction, not creating loops. That's where I messed up there. Still, I think that this will work for us. It's going to cost me a lot of money to operate, but it is going to work. Uh, we should probably look at upgrading some roads, though. Because this is going to become a very, very, very popular traffic junction in just a little bit. So I need to make sure we can actually support a few more lanes. Uh, and this is where I might actually want to upgrade you pretty substantially. Cannot upgrade you, unfortunately, because the space is occupied. So the only way this is going to work is for me to delete a bunch of roads. So this entire street is going bye-bye. Sorry. This is the thing that I find really annoying about upgrading all these roads, however. You can see that a lot of these stops and stuff have been broken. Some metro, some buses, etc. Every time you have to mess with the roads and upgrade them to longer lanes and stuff, ugh, it ruins everything. 
There we go. Okay, so the trams are a running. We have a couple of major avenues that are starting to be rebuilt with some higher density buildings, which, by the way, let's just point out that the shadows is looking pretty darn nice over here, if I do say so myself. Gradually working in some more high rise structures as we continue down into Alvin's Landing, but it's certainly getting its way around. But if we now take a look at some of the metro and stuff, we should start seeing people using the metro. Uh, where is it? Six per week? Ah, that's not true. It's gonna go way up above that in a second. The bus lines are actually getting a fair bit of use. Why are you saying that the metro lines are not? There we go. Okay, it's starting to go up. Now to 51. I imagine this is gonna end up being the bulk of our public transport in the future. People tend to like the metro. And understandably so. I do enjoy riding a good subway, as long as it's actually a good subway. There are good subways, and there are just filthy, disgusting subways. I've been on both. The nice ones, though, they're pretty cool. I like getting on those. Maybe as much as monorails. No, that's not true. I like monorails a heck of a lot better. And I would like to employ some monorails in, like, a nice, good loop around the high areas, the high-density areas, like around here, for example. But that will have to wait for at least a little bit longer. Our landfills are completely filled up at the moment, but I'm surprised we haven't been getting any issues with our... Um, We've not been seeing any issues with our garbage collection. No one's really complaining. So maybe we can actually go ahead and empty this building. And we'll start clearing out this uh, area. What's wrong now? Set to empty and therefore it is not working. No more room. Well, yeah, that's... Yeah, the whole point is that I'm emptying it out. That's, that's completely fine. What's wrong here, by the way? Small park is messed up. Okay, well, we could go ahead and fix this, I suppose. I wish you could just, like, move a building sometimes. Just, like, select the building and say, I want to relocate it here. And, yeah, you have to pay a premium. But at least you can lose, like, you don't lose track of which buildings have been messed up as your, uh, with your road placement. Even so, we can fix that. Hang on. There we go. That looks a lot better. Okay, doing fine. And we have some more schools and stuff. How are we doing on our education? Uh, 33% uneducated still. But we are starting to see that highly educated number going up, which is good. One thing I don't understand is why this is all turning red here. There's an elementary school literally next to you. You can't tell me that you don't have access. There's more than enough capacity. Like, seriously, if anything, I have grossly overdone it on the schools. Wait, what's this? Oh, speaking of which, there's an extra elementary school we don't need here. Let's just go ahead and get rid of that. But there's plenty of access, plenty of capacity, so I'm not too sure what's going on here. I need to double check and make sure I understand why this is happening. But with 67% of our population graduating with at least an elementary degree and working its way up, that's certainly good. As this number continues to grow, I'm gonna be moving on to higher and higher tech industries. But this was kind of fun, and I really enjoyed creating this technical school. I think the big thing is somehow we're gonna have to create these academic works and get a lot more students in here, because right now we are losing a pretty significant amount of money. It doesn't matter, but we are. So, somehow I have to continue getting this up there, and maybe it's with, like, student health care and stuff. I don't know, something that kind of encourages more and more students to get in here. Something like that, I don't know. I want to level this up, I want to get a whole bunch of different types of uh, unique buildings, I want to really train things up here. Maybe get some of those IT engineers and whatnot. And we also should go ahead and create ourselves a liberal arts school as a community college at some point as well. Not sure where I'm going to do that, maybe down over here or something, kind of tuck it away. Kind of close to all the fishing harbors, so you all know what I think of you? I don't really know. And then, of course, there is our Telsior oil fields, which seem to be doing a pretty decent job of siphoning all of our oil currently into petroleum. If anything, I'm kind of wondering if maybe we need a lot more oil. Uh, let's see. Produces 4,000 units per week, as opposed to these, which produce 4,800. But what is the exchange rate exactly? Three barrels. Okay, we're producing three barrels of oil per day, month, whatever it is. And all of that is supposed to go over here. So we actually do need a little bit more oil production, which I can go ahead and do real quick. If we place down another extractor, let's say right over Mia. There you go. All right, so now we should be taking advantage of a little bit more of the oil. We'll be producing... Eh, it hasn't updated yet, but we're producing at least four, maybe five barrels, all getting diverted to petroleum, which means I should be making a pretty substantial profit out of that. That is beautiful. Okay. Well, I think this is a good place to end this video. We have made some great progress. I'm pretty happy with how the city is turning out, but there is a long way to go if we want to create a thriving metropolis. I look forward to receiving your feedback in the comment section down below. If you did enjoy this video, make sure you hit that like button. Of course, leave those comments. Subscribe to the notify bell, and I will see you guys next time.